Franchon Cruz Dezern versus Shadeza Green. 10 rounds in the 168 pound division. This is on the undercard of Jake Paul, Andre August, Friday the 15th in Orlando. Let's get into it. Let's start with the former undisputed champion, Franchon Cruz Dezern. This is her second fight this year. Franchon doesn't really fight a whole lot throughout the years. So it's good to see her back in the ring twice this year. Probably. Because she's doing a whole lot of things, man. She's designing clothes. I think she did some stuff for Alicia Baumgartner and uh, Clarissa Shields. Um, sh she can also sing. You know what I'm saying? She can bust a tune, right? So she's got a whole lot of things going on. She's very talented. I believe she was a contestant for American Idol. She's got a whole lot going on. And I respect the fact that she's trying to diversify and create that multiple stream of income, not just now, but in the future. Because professional sports, especially the individual ones, not the basketball, not the NBA, not the football, not the NHL. I come from that individual sport of my years in track and field. You have to set yourself up for the long term because it's so short. So it's good that she's able to do that. But when she is in the ring, man, she is very, very locked in. She's a tough opponent to fight. She may not have the speed, uh, the quickness, and the elusiveness, especially at her age, but she's strong, she's tough, she's durable, and she can still put together good combinations. In her most recent fight where she lost her belt to Savannah Marshall, tell you what, man, she gave Marshall a whole lot to handle. Franchon was putting that jab out there, following up with the right hand. She would get hit, but then she would come right back with a shot of her own. Uh, there was a, it was a very physical fight. Everything, for the most part, was in close range. It wasn't the cleanest of fights. It was a bunch of tying up. It was a bunch of um, both women looked like they were smothering their work for most of that fight. Uh, but it was a fight that either woman could have taken advantage of depending on who was going to be able to steal the momentum, who was going to be a busier fighter, who was going to land the cleaner shots, the more eye-catching shots, who was going to control the pace. And I thought halfway throughout that fight, it, it was a close fight, right? It was a, it was tough to score in the sense of no one was really landing too cleanly, right? They were landing shots, but right after they land a shot, they would tie up and clinch or their heads would clash or they would fall on top of each other, man. And somebody would hit the canvas and the ref would have to step in. So it was just a whole lot was going on in the early part of that fight. Well, throughout that fight. But I thought Savannah Marshall started to put some nice combinations together from the 8th to the 10th round. And I felt like that's where she kind of separated herself because she created a little bit of separation where she could use her long reach and use her size to her advantage. But um, I thought Franchon was slowing down a little bit in the latter rounds. I mean, she was still banging out some tough shots. You know, she's always got heart, always got that will and that determination. She didn't let Savannah Marshall get comfortable ever throughout that fight. Really had to make Savannah Marshall work to create the space and the separation. The final result was Franchon Cruz losing by majority decision, but man, she's still fighting at a high level, man. She she didn't have to go and find Savannah Marshall, and I thought that played to her advantage, just like how I think she's not going to have to run to find uh, Shadeza Green as well, too, or really cut off the ring because Shadeza is a come-forward type of fighter. She's going to be there. So we'll see how much Franchon Cruz has left because she is going to need to put together uh, a great physical fight again to come out on top or at least adjust and get on the outside and loop those shots in and get back to jabbing as she did in the early part of her fight with Savannah Marshall. Let's talk about her opponent, Shadeza Green. 13 wins, no losses, and 11 wins by way of knockout. Shadeza Green hasn't really been a pro for too long, right? She turned pro in 2019, stayed busy during the pandemic, Man, doesn't the pandemic seem like it was ages ago, but it really was three years ago. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But she stayed busy during the pandemic time. She fought in Mexico and she went on a nine fight knockout streak. We don't get to see a whole lot of knockouts in women's boxing, especially uh, in this division, right? Shadeza, she's mean, bro. Like, She's got that meanness to her that as a trainer, you love to see, right? She 
is strong. She's big. She's got power. She's explosive. She's a good counter puncher. Her hand speed is quicker than people think. When she fought uh, Ogalides Suarez, who was a former champion in the featherweight division, moved up throughout her career. She fought for the light middleweight belt against uh, Marie Eve DeCare. That was supposed to be a little bit of a test. But as soon as the fight started, man, the one thing that was very noticeable was the size difference. Green bullied Suarez every single round, came forward every single round, landed body shots, head shots every single round, and really discouraged Suarez to the fifth round where Suarez in her corner decided not to come out. And I understand you got to make the best decision for your fighter. That fight was at 175 pounds. Very few people is going to be Shadeza Green at that weight limit. After that, she fought uh, Cedar Ruse, a former champion at 168, who lost the belt to Franchon Cruz. And she passed that test with flying colors. You know Shadeza Green is strong. You know she's got the size, but she has a very nice jab man it's sharp it's 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 snappy it's stiff it's quick and she also has very good timing she knows how to pace herself throughout the fight she might just look like someone who will depend on her brute strength and force and aggression but she has a strong IQ as well in the ring, man. Cedar Ruse took the fight to Shadeza and landed some big shots on Shadeza Green, but she took it, made the adjustments, and pressed forward. Shadeza Green landed uh, a very clean pulled back counter in the second round. I was like, well, I didn't know she had that right there in her repertoire, looking kind of Floydish, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know she had that, right? So she is deceiving in many ways. Some fights, she'll look a little sluggish, right? But the power is still there. The strength is still there. And some fights, she shows off that boxing ability, that skill that she does, that she's not just a woman that has size and power, that if it goes to a boxing match that she can box on the outside, slip and move and jab and find a way to outbox you as well, too. I was very impressed in that fight. And she closed out the show. Always great when you can close out the show. But I was very impressed by the entirety of Shadeza Green in that fight. In her most recent fight, she fought Olivia Curry. Curry is a very strong chin, has a very strong chin, man. And Shadeza touched up that chin and boxed her way and powered her way to a unanimous decision victory. So she knows how to seize the moment, man. And I think right now is her moment. And if she wants to work her way up to a title fight, which I'm sure she's probably one fight away, if she can get past Franchon Cruz de Zern, She's going to see that moment, man. The moment is now. Can she pass this test as she's passed other tests before? We'll see. So who wins? I think stylistically, man, this fight suits both women, right? They're going to stand in front of each other and both women are there to get hit. And both women like to be physical. I think in this fight, I think the size difference is going to play a factor. Sometimes the size difference, man, it really doesn't make a difference. When you're a bigger fighter, it doesn't mean you know exactly how to impose your will and your size. Uh, I don't think Shadeza Green has that problem. She knows how to use her strengths to her advantage. Um, I think uh, Franchon Cruz is is a strong fighter but i think shadeza is a stronger fighter and i think it's going to show in this fight man i like shadeza green to win this fight by decision i think she can get the stoppage against cruz de Zern, but cruz de Zern has a great chin I mean, she is solid so i think shadeza green wins this fight by decision what are your thoughts on this fight who do you have winning this one let me know in the comment section below if you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. I don't always get to do all the suggested videos you guys suggest in the comment section below, but if you become a member, those suggested videos rise to the top and I will do my best to get those done for you. Or if you'd like to become a member, just support the channel, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated as well. Shout out to everybody that continues to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel, man. I appreciate each of you. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video, this time do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next.